Welcome back. Donald Trump's vice presidential running mate, J.D. Vance, is from Ohio, but he has ties to Georgia. Before successfully running for Senate in Ohio, Vance was an author. He wrote Hillbilly Elegy, a memoir about the struggles of a working class town in the Midwest, which was turned into a movie and filmed in Georgia, including Macon. Shea Schrader talked to the actors as they reflect on their time on set. Since J.D. Vance has been nominated as VP on the Republican ticket, his memoir turned movie has shot up the most watched list on Netflix, landing in the top 10. But you, you got to decide you want to be somebody or not. Savannah native and actor William Mark McCullough played a police officer in the movie and interacted with Oscar nominated actresses who portrayed J.D. Vance's mother and grandmother. Everyone there felt like they were part of the family, part of the team. Uh, Glenn Close and Amy Adams, they, they, I mean, they just literally sat next to me. They, they, there was no sense of... Um, Sometimes you're working with A-list actors, they let you know they're A-list actors, and that was not the case with, uh, with Amy and Glenn at all. Low country actress Anona Tolar says she also had a positive experience on set. Though she wasn't actually in the movie, she was Glenn Close's stand-in, meaning she stood where Close was meant to stand in scenes so the production crew could fix lighting and audio. Tolar met Vance while he was on set. To have an author be there, it, I mean, I was always thinking like, does he think this scene is real? The movie tells the story of Vance's life through his eyes, particularly his mother's drug addiction and his grandmother's help in raising him. According to Business Insider, the film reached the number four spot on Netflix after Vance was named the GOP vice presidential nominee. McCullough says his focus, though, is on his work as an actor and not the politics of the people involved. My job is to do the audition, to show up on set, deliver an honest portrayal of the character and try to make it compelling, and then I move on. In what's already been a contentious election cycle, Tolar says that she looks to the story told in the movie and the production of the movie itself to show that people with differences can find common ground, pointing towards acclaimed director Ron Howard as an example. He decided that politically they were different, but he wanted to tell the story. And to me, it's hope that we can be different we can have different oppose, you know, opposing political views, but come together for things that are important. So that gives me hope. 